Number 33, letter A. By how much does a 65 kilogram mountain climber stretch her 0.8 centimeter diameter nylon rope when she hangs 35 meters below a rock outcropping? All right, so first let's draw a simple free body diagram. All right, this point in the middle will represent the climber. And the climber has a certain weight to her, right? It says that uh, she has a mass of 65 kilograms, so weight is equal to mg. So her weight will be equal to 65.0 times 9.80. Let's calculate that right away, okay? So the weight is gonna be 65 times 9.8. So we get 637. So 637 newtons. Now, she's just hanging, right? And what's holding her up is the rope, right? So we can assume that the rope here is hang is attached to something all the way at the top, right? And there is a force, right, or a tensional force in this rope that's holding her up, right? She is in equilibrium, there are no accelerations, so what that means is that the weight, her weight is exactly counterbalanced by the tension in this rope. So that's why I know the tension here will equal 637 newtons as well, okay? All right, great. Um, so now, let's see, what are we looking to find, right? Does the, uh, we are saying, by how much does the stretch her rope, okay? So we're looking at Young's modulus formula right over here, where it says the force of tension or compression is equal to Young's modulus times the change in length of the object divided by the initial length of that object multiplied by the cross-sectional area of that object. So the force here is going to be 637 newtons, right? That's the tensional force on the rope. It's a stretching force. That equals now Young's modulus, so we got to go look for the value in the table. We're talking about nylon rope. So here's nylon, and here's Young's modulus, 5. Remember, they're times 10 to the 9. So this is 5 times 10 to the 9. Change in length is what we're looking for, the initial length of the rope. Uh, how much is that? Well, according to the question, she hangs 35 meters below the rock the rock outcropping, so therefore I, I'm assuming that this total length is going to be 35 meters, so that's great, 35. And now the cross-sectional area, so it's a nylon rope, right, it's basically a cylinder, and remember cylinders have cross-sections of circles, all right, and it tells us that the diameter of this circle, that's a terrible diameter, the diameter of the circle is going to be 0 0.800 centimeters. So if that's the diameter, what's the radius? Just divide it by two, right? The radius is just in half, so that would be 0 0.400 centimeters. Now I need to find the meter value, right? So how do we convert from centimeters to meters? Well, you can simply uh, just divide a, but this by 100 or simply just move the decimal point two places to the left. And if we do that, we would get a value of 0 0.04, no, nope, one more zero, 0 0.00400 meters, okay? Now I have to think about, well, how do I find the area of a circle? Well, it's simply area is equal to pi r squared, right? That's that for a circle. And remember the circle is the cross section of the cylinder, which we're assuming is the shape of the rope. Sounds all reasonable. So the area is pi, then multiplied by 0 0.00400. And let me just make sure, hold on one second, let me just make sure I move the decimal over appropriately, one, two, yeah. And that is squared. So now here the the um, area is going to be pi times 0 0.004 squared. So 5.23. What am I talking about? Five. What am I? 5.03. Sorry guys. 5.03 times 10 to the minus 5. And that's in meters squared now. All right. So let's plug that value in for the cross section area here. So 5.03 times 10 to the minus five. Let's clean this baby up. So let's combine some terms here. So five times 10 to the nine um, times 5.03 times 10 to the negative five divided by th 35. All right, that works out to be seven, 7,190 it looks like, right? 7,190 times the change in length. So now just simply divide out the 7,190 from both sides. All right, and now we find the change in length. Great. 637 divided by 7190. And here we go. So now we get a value of 0 0.0886 meters. In other words, um, this would be, if I move the decimal uh, two places over, this would be 8.86 centimeters. 
Okay, that's how much it changes by. Eh, it sounds like a little much, right? It says that the answers seem to be consistent with what you have observed for nylon ropes. I mean, I've never hung from a 35 meter nylon rope, right? So I don't know if it does stretch that much. I don't think so, but I don't really know, honestly. Would it make sense if the rope were actually a bungee cord? Would it make sense? I guess so. Again, I'm not really a not really a thrill seeker in that sense, so I'm not 100% sure, but it sounds a little unreasonable. Uh, yeah. So, guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Please do remember to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.